Have you ever wondered how a slot machine could be completely random if it has some goal percentage to hit, like 92% or whatever? Most people think that that means it can't be truly random, it's gonna have to manipulate itself to stay within that percentage. But that's not how it works at all. That percentage is just based on math and probabilities. Now this is part nine of my series of everything about slot machines. And if you like these slot machine videos, be sure to hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Now to make it so that anyone can understand RTP or return to player percentages, I'm gonna bring you back in time to show you when I designed my very first casino game and how it evolved over time. So welcome to my casino. The game that I've designed today, the customer is gonna pay $1 to get three of these symbols. To make it easy to follow along, I've put every possibility that the customer could get onto each one of these cards. I've assigned a prize value to each one of these possibilities. And the prize value for each one of these possibilities right now is $1. So now I know that the average pay of this game is gonna be $1, because no matter what card the customer gets, it pays $1. So we refer to this game as a 100% RTP. 100% of the money that the players pay to play is returned back as prizes. So now we're gonna try this game out, see how it works from the casino's point of view. And would you like to play? And here you go. Two bells and a seven, that is $1. Now as you saw, there's an issue with this game. The same money that's coming in is going back out. There's nowhere in here for the casino to turn a profit. We have a hundred possibilities here and each one of these possibilities pays one dollar. If the player pays a dollar and they always win a dollar, it's just not a profitable game for me to operate. What I'm going to do to solve that is I'm going to change every one of these dollars into 90 cents. So now this game is going to average 90%. For every dollar that the customer gives me, it's gonna pay out 90 cents. We still have the same 100 possibilities, but if the customer only wins 90 cents on each one, the casino's gonna win 10 cents every time the customer plays. You wanna play? Thank you. And here you go. Cherry Bell 7, 90 cents. Would you like to play again? I guess not. As you saw, the customers just don't really like this game because they're losing money every single turn. To fix that, I'm gonna take money off all the cards that don't have three matching symbols and move it to cards that do. Once again, we still have the same 100 possibilities that the customers can draw from, and we have the same amount of money that's out on the table. But now some of the possibilities have money on them and some of them don't. Now this game just got a whole lot more exciting. We have our big jackpot here that's gonna pay a whole lot of money. And you might not win very often because there's a lot of cards here with no money on them. But given enough times, it's still gonna average out to 90 cents because we didn't take any money away. So now this game works for both the player and the casino. The players wanna keep playing because they have the opportunity to win this big jackpot. And all the casino needs to do is get the players to keep playing because they know they're gonna make 10% of every bet that's made on this game. Now, one of the best ways they can do this is through the bonus round. And you might think, we don't know how much we're gonna win in the bonus round, so how can they possibly do the math on it? But we have $7.20 dedicated to our bonus round right here, so we just need to create this whole card game again and have the bonus round average out to $7.20. We might do that over 10 spins, which would mean that we need to do this whole card game again and have it average out to 72 cents per spin. A lot of people go to the casino for the social aspect of it. And to make a single player game exciting, they've added all kinds of vibrant colors, flashing lights, and exciting sounds. They've wrapped this whole game up into a slot machine. So to include all that, they've taken this card game that we've been talking about, gotten rid of that, and turn the whole thing into the slot machine. What people have a hard time wrapping their heads around is that there's three reels that spin around in a random. It makes the math way harder. But don't think of it as three different reels. Think of it as each combination is one possibility. So what happens is the player hits spin, the random number generator chooses a combination, cherry bell seven, and then it spins the reels. And then the reels stop on whatever combination the random number generator has already chosen. So yes, these machines are completely random. It's just that the RNG only has so many possibilities of what it can land on. If we look at the math on a real slot machine, this one has almost 800 million possibilities. 
I said my game with the cards only had 100 possibilities, but the same math applies. It's the exact same concept. There's a probability for everything on a slot machine and an amount of money dedicated to those possibilities. As long as it's random, it'll average out to the amount that it's supposed to pay. And now that you understand how RTP works, you're definitely gonna wanna watch the next video in this series. We're gonna put this into the real world and talk about which machines that you should be playing. Before your next Vegas trip, get educated. Thanks for watching.